Hello, hello. My name is Minister Christian of Mount Moriah Baptist Church. I thank you so very much for tuning in to our children's church. If you are here for the first time, I want to uh, give you a huge, huge welcome um, and let you know that we meet every Sunday at 12 noon. So we're going to start with a word of prayer. And I ask at this time, will you please pray with me? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, I thank you for today. I thank you for the children that are watching, God, I thank you for the lesson. I thank you for our series. Heavenly Father, will we learn right now so that we can share our knowledge with other people, our family, our friends. Um, Holy Spirit, just have your way and we give you all the honor and glory. In your name we do pray. Amen. Amen, guys. So I am super excited. Um, we get started uh, every single Sunday, we talk about something we're thankful for, something we're happy about. So I want to talk about um, one thing that we are thankful for. I know a lot of you all are ending your school semester, no more homework, and the list goes on and on. Maybe you're even doing something exciting for, for um, the summertime. But at this time, I want us to share one thing we are thankful for. So one thing that I'm thankful for is just about a week ago, I was able to camp for the first time. So I don't know if you've ever gone camping where you had your tent and you had to like, you know, cook your s'mores over the fire, but I had the opportunity to do that with um, with some friends and it was really, really um, fun. Um, it was about two and a half hours from D.C. and we just had a good time. So if you would ever go camping with Miss Christian, raise your hand. <laughs> Good, good. I can guarantee you that, that we will have some fun if you ever came. So at this time, feel free to pause the video and share at least one thing that you are absolutely thankful for, you're grateful for, and um, yeah. So feel free to pause the video and you can share it right now. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing. And I praise God for whatever um, that is happening that is exciting in your life and that you're looking forward to. We should always be thankful, even when things aren't working out in our lives in the way that we thought it should or things happen. But gratitude and thankfulness is something that we can always have. Can we all agree on that? Good, good, good. So I'm excited because today is a day that we finish a series that we have been doing for the past nine months, uh, nine weeks, actually, <laughs> trivia. Uh, we've been doing this for the past nine weeks, and this week will be week 10. If you know what the series is, on the count of three, I want you to say it out loud. One, two, three, yes, the Ten Commandments. We have been doing the Ten Commandments, thou shall not steal, thou shall not have any other gods, thy shall obey their mother and father. There are so many. And so this week we are on number 10. So if you do not have your Bibles, I ask that you go and you grab your Bibles right now because we are going to go into our scripture. Um, our scripture will come from the book of Exodus. So grab your Bibles and let's head on over to Exodus, okay? So Exodus chapter 20, verse 17, um, has the 10th commandment, and it reads, You shall not covet your neighbor's house, nor anything that is your neighbor's. So name some things that may belong to your neighbor. We all have neighbors, um, someone that lives uh, to the left or to the right of us, or even above us or below us if we live in apartments. Um, so I've lived in dorms and I've had people on all sides of me, up, down, left, right. So name some things that your neighbor had. Your neighbors may have TV, your neighbors may have um, uh, dogs, cats, um, computers, playstations. What are some other things that your neighbors may have? Your neighbors may have money, they may have food, they may have um, some toys, they may have some clothes, they may have a husband or a wife. Um, all of these are things that your neighbor may have. And guess what? The Bible says that you are not to take anything that belongs to your neighbor. Can you believe that? Absolutely. The Lord wants to make sure that your brother and your sister is protected. Um, I once lived in a house 
where someone um, tries to break into it. And is that something that is of God? Absolutely not. I was a young, young person and someone tried to break into the home. They didn't get in, praise God. But if they were to come in, they would have probably stolen, let me see, I was around 10, so I probably had some toys. I know my brothers had a PlayStation. They had some games. We had a computer. So those are things that they would have come in and have would have taken that belonged to me, and now it's in their possession. And so the 10th commandment, make sure that you do not take anything that does not belong to you. Because what? Because God says so, all right? So I know sometimes we may um, we may uh, get anxious or we may get curious or we may want something that someone else has. Um, even for adults, when you get older, you may say, oh my gosh, his or her wife looks great or their husband looks great or I love their car. You can't just take their car. You can't steal their car, um, though some people do. But God really wants to make sure that we are honoring our brother and our sister, okay? Instead of taking from your brother or sister, what are some things that you um, can do to really help your brother or sister? You can pray for them. You can babysit their children. You can cut their grass. You can help an elderly person bring in groceries. There are so many things that you can do instead of taking money or gadgets or cars or clothes or all these other things that do not belong to you. So the 10th commandment, once again, says, Thou shalt not cover, covet your neighbor's house, nor anything that is your neighbor's. So someone may be saying, Miss Christian, what does the word covet mean? I'm so glad you asked. Covet is a desire for something that belongs to someone else, right? So if my friend has this ice cream cone and it looks so good and I take it from her, that means that I've coveted. That means that I've wanted something that belonged to someone else that did not belong to me. So maybe you all have experienced a time where you really wanted something that didn't belong to you. But through God's grace and through self-control, um, you did not do it. And I'm so, so proud of you. Um, even if you're taking a test, right? If you're taking a test in school and you look at someone's answers, those answers don't belong to you. That test doesn't belong to you. So that is another way that you can covet your neighbor. You're taking their answers. You're taking their homework. You're taking their belongings. Um, and so be mindful of ways that you cannot, that you that you should not covet, but be mindful of ways that you can help advance the kingdom. Okay? Praise God. So I know that um, there are so many temptations in the world. There's bullying. There's um social media there's the popular crew but i want you i want you all to hear this and i want you to hear it very clearly okay jesus loves you jesus loves you so much that he made you just the way that you are your family your skin your age your size your home everything he knew exactly how it would be for you and God wants you to know that you are blessed in all circumstances, whether you're rich or poor, whether you're light or dark, right? Whether you go to a huge school or a small school, whether you make straight A's or whether you're like me sometimes and you struggled in school, no matter where you are, Jesus loves you. So never ever desire to be someone else or to have something that does not belong to you, okay? If you find yourself wanting and desiring something and you don't yet have it, Praise to God. That is one thing you can do. You can say, God, I really, really want this dog. Or God, I really want this scooter. I don't have it right now, but Lord, show me how I can do it. Maybe I do allowance. Maybe I do chores, right? Maybe I do really good in school and I can and I can be rewarded. But just partner with God. God uh, wants to hear the desires of your heart. So you don't have to go take it from your neighbor. Partner with God. And if you don't, get it? Remember I talked about gratitude in the beginning? Remember I talked about being thankful? There's still so much you can be thankful for. All right. So I hope and pray that um, you all are empowered to just be thankful for what you have. Amen. And I hope and pray also that you've really enjoyed our series, our 
Ten Commandments series. So now if you're in school or you're talking to someone, you can say, hey, yeah, I've gone through all the Ten Commandments. And if you haven't just yet, you can always rewatch some of our videos um, from our, our previous weeks. They are all in order. And you can see more about our Ten Commandments. Amen. Wonderful, guys. So I'm excited that you all have decided to join me today. Um, at this moment, I want to offer up a word of prayer. So if you know anyone that needs prayer, or maybe you may need prayer for yourself, I want you to say their names on the count of three. One, two, three. Ah, good. Praise God. I am praying for my brother and my mother um, this this week. So I'll lift up someone. Um, will you please pray with me? Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you for being who you are in our lives, God. We thank you that on this Sunday, we get to slow down to be in your magnificent and your marvelous presence, God. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for the Ten Commandments. We thank you for commandment number 10 that reminds us, God, that we are not to covet or desire anything that belongs to our neighbor, God. We are to honor them and, tr and respect them in all their things. So, Heavenly Father, God, we pray over those names that we lifted up. God, you know what they're going through. Will you just be with them and encourage them and show them your love and be with all of our children, God, as they wrap up their school year. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Awesome, guys. So, I thank you so much for tuning into this series. If you have an idea of a series that you would like to see over the summer or in the fall time, Please, please, please um, email me at youthministry at mountmariahchurch.org. Youthministry at mountmariahchurch.org. All right, guys. So I love y'all. Have a wonderful Sunday and God bless. Bye.